Big changes may soon come to your favorite snacks. This after the Illinois State Senate passed a measure banning harmful food additives. And State Senator Willie Preston is the one who introduced the legislation, and he joins us now live to discuss. Senator, glad to have you with us. Thanks so much. Let me get right to the ingredients here. Uh, brominated vegetable oil, potassium bromate, red dye number three, and uh, probal parabens. Tell us what snacks these are in, what, what kinds of foods, what kinds of brands that, uh, that got you concerned? Well, thank you for having me. Um, you know, many of these additives are in most um, of the ultra processed foods that we see every day um, on, our, on the shelves in our grocery stores. So for instance, you, you, know, you mentioned brominated vegetable oil. You know, you find that in a lot of the citrus um, type drinks like sodas that we see, um, you know, you look at red dye number three that are in many of the candies mm -hmm. and uh, propel bear and potassium bromide. We find those in many of our um, muffins and things that we feed our children and families every day. So it's in, it's in a lot of stuff, and right? I think the rule of thumb is if it's hard to say, if you can't pronounce it, it's probably not good for you. But can you tell us briefly there what some of the specific health risks are that are associated with these ingredients? Yes, excellent question. So you can find, um, um, you, you have cancer linkages to some of these um, food additives. You have um, behavioral issues such as hyperactivity in children that are linked. Um, to some of these food additives. These are the things that have drawn my concern, but not only my concern, moms who are shopping in grocery stores all over the state and quite frankly, the country, um, parents who are concerned that their children are gonna be um, harmed uh, as a result of them consuming these foods on a day in and day out basis. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm very proud. Illinois, Illinois um, citizens have gotten a big victory today and i'm very proud that we were able to do this in um in the senate and in a very bipartisan way well senator in that legislation you mentioned safer alternatives uh that are being used in in europe and other places like california briefly what are those alternatives and why hasn't the fda uh jumped all over it it's a great question there um there are uh, alternative and the FDA has quite frankly gotten uh, gotten in front of it. You know, the problem is that there are bureaucracies in place at the FDA, which is precisely why um, I took the lead on this issue to make sure that we protected uh, Illinoisans and not just wait on the on on the on the FDA. Uh, if you go to the FDA's website right now, they will specifically say that brominated vegetable oil, for instance, is not safe for human consumption. Um, red dye number three has been banned by the FDA since 1990, but in cosmetic products. So, mm. um, you know, we we have done a great thing to, today, and I want every Illinoisan to know that we are one step closer um, to making sure that the food that we eat is actually nourishment for our bodies and not laced with poison. And so it goes to the Illinois House. What is likely to uh, happen once it goes there? Uh, and if the industry ultimately goes on and agrees to this, you would think that they would put up a fight here. Isn't it likely to have these food products get more expensive for us? Great question again. Listen, I, I think I want to start by saying thank you to many of these large um, food industry um, companies that have self-governed themselves and, all, and started taking these additives out of their food supply already. Um, so thank you to the companies like Pepsi who have started to take these products, out, um, these additives out of their products, like such as Gatorade, for instance. Now, yes, the me the measure that I passed out of the Senate with my colleagues today does move over to the House, and um, we have a great um, sponsor over there, Representative. Um, Anna Stava Murray is going to carry that bill, and I'm, I'm very proud of her and, and grateful, and I think she's going to be an excellent champion um, for that bill. And we'll get 60 votes out of the House, and, and then it's on to the governor. Senator Willie Preston, this was your bill. You got the ball rolling. Thanks for being with us uh, to tell us about it. We'll see where it goes from here. Thank you so much for having me. All right, take Have care. a great day. Unions continue to make way.